Hi friends, this is Gautam from Zendalona, welcoming you to the Accessible Coconut Tutorial Series. In this video, let us examine the sixth page of the Screen Reader Preferences dialog, the Key Bindings page. Key Bindings page tab, 6 or 8. Using the options available on the Key Bindings page, we can assign a specific key or key combinations to ORCA functions, essentially creating our own set of shortcuts or modify the existing ones. The first option available on the page is the Screen Reader Modifier Key Combo Box. Tab. Screen Reader Modifier Key Left Paren S Right Paren Colon Combo Box Insert KP Line Insert 1 of 4 Alt Plus M this combo box allows us to select which key or keys will serve as the ORCA modifier. Let us see the available options by entering into the combo box. Return, insert, KP line insert, 1 of 4, KP line insert, 2 of 4, insert, 3 of 4, caps line lock, shift line lock, 4 of 4, insert, KP line insert, 1 of 4, return. Screen reader modifier key left paren s right paren colon combo box insert kp line insert 1 of 4 alt plus m kp insert is same as the zero key on the numeric keypad we can select the option we prefer and that key or keys will act as the modifier from then on next item available is the key bindings table which contains three columns and numerous rows the key bindings table provides a list of ORCA operations and the keys that are bound to them. The columns of the table are command column, key bindings column and the modified column. To get inside the table, we have to first press a tab from the screen reader modifier keys combo box and then a down arrow key. Tab. Default. Expanded 61 items. Modified. Checkbox not checked. 1 of 98. Tree level 1. Go to bookmark. Insert plus 1. Modified. Checkbox not checked. 2 of 98. Tree level 2. Now we are on the first row of the table. Now we can use up and down arrow keys to navigate through the rows and right and left arrow keys to navigate through columns. When we navigate through rows, ORCA announces the information on all the three columns of the row we reach. Let us navigate a bit and see some of the key bindings that are available. Go to bookmark. Insert plus two. Modified. Checkbox not checked. Go, go, go to next bookmark location. Insert plus B. Pass the next command onto the current application. Insert plus backspace. Modified. Checkbox not. Display the application preferences configuration dialog. Insert plus control plus space. Mo decrease the speech rate. Insert plus down. Modified. Checkbox checked. 13 of 98. For example, now we are on the decrease the speech rate command. That command is on the first column and then we heard the information on the second column which said insert plus down that is the key binding assigned to that command then we heard the information on the third column which said checked now the next command decrease the speech volume insert plus end modified checkbox checked 14 of 98 here also we heard the command on the first column, the key binding on the second column and whether it is checked or not on the third column. Now, read the attributes associated with the current text character, insert plus F, toggle whether to read just the current table cell or the whole row, insert plus F11, Mo enter learn mode, press escape to exit learn mode, insert plus H, modified. Checkbox not checked. 
the command and key binding for entering into the learn mode. Increase the speech volume. Insert plus tone. Modified. Checkbox checked. 18 of 98. Increase the speech volume. So, now let us briefly look into all three of these columns. The first column, which is the command column, contains a description of the Orca command that can be performed. The second column, that is the key binding column, contains the keyboard shortcut currently assigned to each Orca command. So, in order to make a change in any key binding, we have to do it from here. First, we can press enter at this column, then press the desired keys to be assigned and again press enter to confirm. For example, Increase the speech volume. Insert plus tone. Modified. Checkbox checked. 18 of 98. Orca now announced that we are in the row in which increase the speech volume command is given. The assigned key binding is insert plus home. So here let us try to assign another key combination or key. For that let's get into the key binding column by pressing right arrow key. Key binding column header insert plus home. Now we can press enter key. Return. Enter new key. Text. Insert plus home selected. Let us assign the key P. P. Key captured. P. Press enter to confirm. Selection deleted. Now we can press enter key again to confirm. The new key is P. Increase the speech volume. P. Modified. Checkbox checked. 18 of 98. Tree level 2. Now let us press Alt A and Alt O to apply and press OK. Left Alt A. Screen reader settings reloaded. Left Alt O. Screen reader settings reloaded. Desktop. User dash guide folder. 4 of 4. Now let us press the P key. P. Louder. So, the volume got louder. That means the key we have assigned started working. P. Louder. In this way, we can assign the needed key combination or key for a command. Then, the third column, which is the modified column. It serves both as an indicator showing whether the associated keys have been changed or not, and as a way to restore the default bindings associated with the command. That means, if the modified column corresponding to a command is checked, that indicates that the key bindings were changed. To restore the default key bindings, we can uncheck there and press apply and ok. We can get into the modified column by pressing a right arrow key from the key binding column. Then if needed, we can delete a key binding. To do that, we have to access the key binding column and press enter and when prompted for the new key binding, press delete or backspace. Then we will be told that the key binding has been removed. Let us try that. Key binding column header insert plus 5. Return. Enter new key. Text. Insert plus 5 selected. Delete. Key binding deleted. Press enter to confirm. Now if we press enter here and then apply and OK. The key binding will be deleted. Then beneath the list of Orca key bindings, we can find a group of unbound commands. These are commands for which keys are not assigned. Unbound. Expanded 18 items. Modified. Checkbox not checked. 63 of 98. Tree level 1. Here also let us navigate with the down arrow key and up arrow key. Cycle to the next settings profile. Cycle to the next capitalize. Cycle the debug level at runtime. 
Just like we assigned new keys in the key bindings table entries, we can assign keyboard shortcuts for the unbound commands here. We just have to press right arrow key to get into the second column which is the key binding column and there we can press the needed key combination. At the end of the list are the braille bindings for using with a refreshable braille display. Braille bindings. Pan the braille display to pan the braille display to the left. Pan the braille display to the left. These are the options available on the key bindings page. If there are any suggestions or doubts, please leave a comment. Thank you.